Hey everybody, I'm Michelle and this is Mila. Yeah, Mila, right? Say hi. Anyway, I wanted to share with you something I learned because I'm here to help educate. I'm not a vet. Make sure to go check with your vets, but if you've seen any of our previous videos, sometimes I think Mila has a bite. Sometimes I think she has hives. Sometimes I have no idea. So, it took about 10 days or 12 days to figure out what the heck happened to Mila. And one of her friends playing outside had a little bit of red in her eye. And we thought, oh, well maybe it's like dog pink eye or something. Anyway, about a week later, Mila's eye was all messed up. And I'm sure you've seen that in some of our posts and other videos that we have, right Mila? But your eyes look so good right now. Didn't think of it, didn't think they were connected, had no idea. We went to the vet about seven different times. And throughout the process of the seven times, it was like a guessing game. I had no idea what was going on. People thought, oh, she's a French bulldog, it's allergies. Or, oh, she's a Frenchie. Not only is it allergies, but they have all sorts of problems. And at yada, 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 I heard all the gamut. And I'm like, you guys, every single day I come to the vet, she's progressively getting worse. The eye drops aren't working, nothing's working. And I asked the vet, you know, if this were your dog, what would you do? So my recommendation to each of you, if you feel like your dog is having significant symptoms of a sickness, which she was, I said, let's do all the tests. Thank God I have dog insurance. So if you don't have dog insurance, that's something I would definitely look into and check out one of my other videos about how I selected Mila's insurance. And thank God I did it. It's one of the best investments that I made from when she was a puppy because when it comes to testing, I'm okay doing all the testing because 90% of it's pretty much covered except our deductible, but I kept that pretty low. So I'll share with you why I chose the insurance we did in a different video. Anyway, we got a PCR test or an animal, canine PCR test, had no idea that existed, and it came back positive for herpes. Adult canine herpes, all the symptoms she had. She had coughing, she had sneezing, she had, if you've seen one of my previous videos with the congestion, I did a little steamer on it, her eyes, the conjunctivitis in her eyes, that's so much better today. And um, she got an upper respiratory infection because of it too. So I always say it's better to be in the know than to be in the unknown. And we were in the unknown for almost nine days, 10 days. And every vet had a different hypothesis of what it could be. And it wasn't until we got that test and then I looked at it and it's something I guess your dogs can be born with, it looks like, um, depending on the litter they came from. So she could have also caught it from one of her friends. They do get a little freaky with each other and it's passed through saliva. So we're not sure, it lives in the system now, but she had a flare up and the flare up could have been from a bug bite that I think she had when she turned into hives. There's so many other known unknown problems, but the one thing I do know is that blood work and any testing that the vet can do, at least you're gonna get some answers. And my lesson here is I wish I would have done it like six days sooner because we had a miserable nine days for sure. But Mila is on the up and up. Yep, she got herpes. She, she gets around, you know? Mila's been getting around, right Mila? You've just been having too much fun with your lady friends and she only hangs out with girlfriends all the time. So who knows how that happened? But the lesson that I learned was how can you get a test sooner? And her primary vet had recommended it. And I told her today on the phone, I'm like, you should have went with your gut instinct and just, you know, I asked her if she were your dog, what would you do? She's like, oh, I think it's hay fever. I think it's just allergies. It's just that time of year, it just rained. And sometimes that's the truth, but sometimes you just need to take the test. So if you have a dog and they have some symptoms of anything, I highly recommend doing whatever testing the vet recommends because blood work, PCR tests, at least you can get some answers because being in the unknown really sucked. So I hope that helps you. Again, I'm not a vet. I'm just here sharing our experiences with each of you. So thank you for joining us and Mila and I will see you in the next video. Say bye, Mila. See you later. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>